AFA Today on AFR Talk. AFR Talk. We got to come together because in the end we can make it all right. We got to brave the world. From the belly of the news beast uh, in lower Manhattan, just inside the shadow of the Freedom Tower, right next to the historic cemetery and resting place of some of our founding fathers at Trinity Church, it's uh, AFA Today and Kevin McCullough. Couldn't be uh, actually more proud than to spend time with you each day. And if you're watching the AFA channel, what you're getting there today is a bunch of uh, cold people in the midst of uh, in, in in the midst of uh, Times Square. It, it's cold here today. It's 18 degrees, and I think the wind chill's down to I don't know. It's something. It's something awfully, awfully cold. Anyway, we're glad you're with us. Uh, all the news stories, but I said I needed five hours today. I literally do, and I'm not going to have it. So uh, we're just going to have to focus in on one. But all the other stories, I'm going to throw onto the AFA Today Facebook page. Make sure you use that. Uh, go there and read and comment and share. It's your best way to, to amplify the information because you know what we're committed to here. Uh, obliterating confusion, amplifying truth, pursuing clarity. That's my promise to you every day if you'll come to AFA Today right here on the AFR Talk Network. Okay, Kevin McCulloch, glad you're with us. 888-589-8840. Planned Parenthood gets $542 million. That's a half billion in one payment and then another $42 million. Uh, And that's just from 2012 that we knew about. Now, while they had that money in their possession, they killed 348,000 children in uh, the same 12-month period. And now we find out that uh, they're going to spend at least $18 million in the elections this year and next. Who do you suppose they're going to support with that $18 million of of capital? Um, isn't Isn't it awesome to know that some people live in a universe where they can throw around $18 million? Uh, isn't, it, isn't it great that we've given Cecile Richards, who lied to the American people when she said that Planned Parenthood performed uh, uh, mammograms for women, uh, when, when she lied about that? She said, oh, well, we provide mammograms. They don't. It's not their policy, too. Uh, they've since bought, I think, one one mammogram device so they can technically say that they offer mammograms, but they still refer to people. And you know what else Planned Parenthood does? They don't report statutory rape amongst minor girls that have been impregnated by of-age men. Um, Nothing else you tell me that they do to me matters if all of what I've just told you is true. Because they they are an organization uh, sent from Satan himself to kill babies and to hurt women. What else else can you uh, attribute to whatever they do? How else does anything else they do justify those things? 888-589-8840. Now let's talk to uh, Caroline in Texas. Hey, Caroline, welcome. Glad you're with us. Yes, sir. I listen to you every day. Thank you. Sometimes I agree, rarely, but sometimes. And you've become uh, extremely full of misinformation. As far as Planned Parenthood... I'm full of, wait, I'm full of misinformation. Please tell me what I've said. Tell me what I've said that is wrong. Go ahead. I'm telling you, sir. Number one, first thing I want to say is the percentage of money that I pay in taxes on my $50,000 that my husband and I earn is far greater, I would venture, than the percentage of taxes you pay. So that inequality of Income is 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 one issue completely separate. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm trying to follow what I'm trying to understand what you just said. Because you've mentioned several things that that were needed to be addressed. But as far right, as right, but but you just said, because, hold on, Caroline. Well, you're going to get a chance to. You're going to. I'm not going to cut you off. You're going to have every chance to make. You, I just want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Okay, that's all I'm. That's all I need to do. You said that the percentage of taxes that you pay on your $50,000 of income is far greater than the percentage of income that I pay on my income? How do you? How did you come to that I conclusion? I would venture to guess. I said I would venture to guess. Right. So how did you come to that guess? Because people that earn $50,000 pay far more percentage-wise in income tax than people that earn over one hundred or 250000 Well, first of all, Number one, ding, 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 you have no idea what I make. So at right away, you're already, you're already in tough territory. But number two, what you just said is factually incorrect. But getting back to Planned Parenthood. No, 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 no. You come on here and you make that accusation. We're going to straighten that out and then we'll move to Planned Parenthood. 
question, sir. It was a comment, just like and, your but, comment. But it's, but it's comment. factually wrong, Caroline. I didn't say it was accurate, sir. I said I would venture to guess. So it's okay to come on and just spout something that's not true, and then I can't well, respond to it? it you said it wasn't. Now I'm trying to move on. Okay. Do you know what I your tax rate correct. is at 50000 for a joint for a joint head of household uh, tax bracket? Yes, sir. I just did my taxes. 28%. Okay. 28%. You know what my tax rate was last year? No, sir. Thirty-four percent. Well, good for you then. Okay, so I uh, thank you for being willing to set the record straight and not well, accuse me of something that that wasn't true. Now, Planned Parenthood, the floor is yours. Planned Parenthood, go. <laughs> no, let's, you you no. You I said the percentage of income that I pay on my taxes is more than you. You pay thirty-four percent of your income. I pay 28%. That's good right. and done. Now, parents, Planned Parenthood, you said that Planned Parenthood is using government monies to kill babies. That I never said true. that. I never yes, said that. Sir. No, you what said I said was, and I'll reiterate it because I very specifically didn't say that. Here's what I said. They receive $542 million from U.S. taxpayers. And after they receive $542 million from U.S. taxpayers, they kill 348,000 children. Okay, that is misinformation. The people that are listening and the people that are hearing you are right. also getting from you that while they take money in from the, from the government, our income tax dollars, our tax dollars for sales tax and every other tax that we pay, that, we, that they are then using that money for that specific issue. That is not true. They use that money for family planning, sir. They use uh, okay. that money to assist All right. women. I'm... My 31-year-old daughter, who had mm -hmm. ovarian cancer when she was 14, would not be having my second grandchild had she not had the Planned Parenthood available to us. Your your doctor doesn't do your doctor doesn't do cancer screenings, sir. My doctor at age 14. Number one, we didn't have insurance. Number one, first thing. So we went to Planned Parenthood because it was a sliding scale and let you pay. Okay, and there wasn't any other clinic or hospital that would do a no, cancer sir. screening in your. That is correct, sir. Okay, we do not, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing to acknowledge that your daughter got a helpful cancer screening that saved her life and gave you grandkids. Yes, I'm willing to acknowledge that. Right. But I'm also what I'm also going to equally demand that people acknowledge is that 542 million dollars goes to an organization that commits 348,000 executions of unborn children a year. Well, sir, there's a matter of, t uh, of tax dollars that go to a lot of entities. I don't like my, my tax dollars going to big oil companies that fund all kinds of horrific things that okay. are done to our planet. Now, now, now you're off into the tax. world of funny math. Let me explain no, that to you. No, giving, just... a, giving an oil company a <laughs> subsidy is not the same thing as giving them tax money. It, it virtually is, sir. No, it's not. No, because what you're doing with a subsidy is saying to them, we're going to allow you to uh, do everything that we do for other businesses. If you buy pens for your business and you use those pens to contribute to your business, you can deduct the pens that you bought for your company. No, with not. oil companies, let me finish, Caroline. Let me finish. When you say to the oil companies, if you drill here, we're going to give you subsidies on your equipment, Tax then it's, it, yes. all it is, all it is is saying... Of the income that you earn, you will send less of it to Washington. By the way, it's not Washington's money, so any subsidy can't, therefore, be a tax reci a recipient from tax dollars. Planned Parenthood's opposite. They get an actual check. They get an actual check from Washington, D.C., not in subsidies, but in actual cash. Well, a check isn't cash, but they do get funding, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the complete opposite of what you described yeah. it to be. Caroline, I thank you for your call. Uh, you're a good sport. Um, completely wrong. I'm not misinformed. I am telling you the truth. And I didn't say that the $542 million is used for the exact abortions. But again, I pose the issue. I pose the issue, hopefully, uh, with, uh, with a lot of uh, intrigue by the audience now. If if Planned Parenthood didn't have the five hundred and forty two million dollars sitting in the slush fund pot of gold at the feet of Cecile Richards in her uh, corporate office, do you think they might have to spend dollars towards the abortions from other resources by which they are getting them? Yeah. So the half billion dollars 
that we give to them allows them, even if they don't spend that exact money to execute the children, uh, the money that we give them gives them enough cushion in spending other things to uh, go and uh, kill the kids. One last point on this issue, because Caroline didn't bring up anything that I haven't heard a thousand times before. Uh, and here's why, where she really didn't know what she was talking about. We're supposed to have a division in the Planned Parenthood arrangement where the, the dollars given to Planned Parenthood are insurably bulletproof against the abortion expenses. The problem is Planned Parenthood doesn't account for it that way. The Planned Parenthood $542 million that they received goes into their general fund. And all we're getting from them is their word that they didn't use any of that money towards the abortions. We don't have actual proof that it doesn't. It's not supposed to be. She's right on that. They're not supposed to. But let me ask you this question. And I think it's a fair question. Would you take the word of somebody that would kill one human being? Would you believe the trustworthiness of that of, of a person that would kill a single person? Society doesn't. We said we're, we're going to put them in jail. We, we, we can't trust them. They took a human life. We've got to put them, we got to put them away. But if you wouldn't take the word of just one murderer, what would you do with an organization that executed 348,000 children? In one 12-month period of time, the year before, they had another 330,000 children that they executed. And the year before that, about 313,000 children that they executed. We're over a million children killed in the last three years that Planned Parenthood has been in operation. And we contributed about a billion and a half dollars to that, uh, to that organization. A billion and a half dollars. I'll never see a billion dollars in my life. I don't know if everybody in my whole family put together whatever, uh, uh, three or four generations deep would ever see a billion dollars amassed. If you put all of our savings together, I, 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 that's, that's like an imaginary number to me. It's like saying a hundred gazillion billion. I, whatever. That's a lot of money. The truth is, we give tax dollars to an organization whose number one focus, whose number one uh, purpose for existing is to kill children. You get a cervical cancer screening, you can get those a lot of places. Uh, you, there, are, there are local clinics available, uh, publicly operated. Many doctor's offices will, uh, will, will help you with these. If you can't pay for it, there's ways that that can be worked out. I don't think we have to keep funding an organization that's killed a million babies in the last three years just so a few cancer screenings can happen. Because they didn't do 348,000 cancer screenings last year. They did kill 348,000 children. 888-589-8840. Eight 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 five eight nine eight eight four zero. Let's talk to uh, Tom in Oklahoma. Hey, Tom, welcome. Glad you're with us on this Friday. Hey, Kevin. <clears throat> Listen to that woman just a minute ago. At, uh, that's the reason we're where we're at. Thirty four percent is different than twenty eight. Anyway, uh, I, I think I, one I, of them's I, bigger, but I'm not sure which is. So, <laughs> well, and she kept arguing with you after you even pointed that out. Well, and, she actually wanted me to just run right along to the next topic, but I wanted to make sure we understood exactly what was what and part of the reason that i that i did pay more is because i actually run a small business and employ some some other people so there's right. things i'm being taxed for that she's not uh mm -hmm. as just a two two uh, person head of household but that's okay yeah. i'm not mad at her i just wanted her well, to know she i'm not the evil rich person she thinks i am well it, it, you know and that's cool i i'm glad that you take and make make people go ahead and explain i'm i'm that way too I actually heard you say, you know, you want somebody to debate with, you know, and, and, and give you the reason why all this is right. And so I said, hey, I'm good at debating. So I grabbed my debate bag, and I looked down in it, and it was empty. You, everything you were saying is right on target. Uh, you know, the hypocrisy, it blows my mind. Do you I think, Tom, let me ask you this question, because it's a, it's a more general question that I think everybody can have an opinion about. 
Do you think that an organization that we give a half billion dollars to and then we add on $42 million more million to it should be allowed to spend a dime in the election cycle? No. No, I mean, they, they, uh, they restrict other people from being able to do that and pass big laws and make it sound all, you know, righteous. And, well, uh, if, a, if a Marine Corps right. cadet says on his Facebook page that he's, he's just in, in favor of traditional marriage, he can right. be court-martialed from the military for taking a, a political opinion public. Mm-hmm. But here we're going to let this organization that's killed 348,000 babies, uh, we're going to let them uh, spend $18 million in the election cycle? That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, and you know, uh, kind of one of the other comments that uh, the lady just before had made a statement was about oil companies. Well, uh, you know, if some of my tax dollars go towards the borders or something in oil, that's, to me, that's, I may not like it, yeah, but it's not killing a baby. But she was, uh, yeah, it's true. But she was factually, and thanks for the call, Tom. She's factually wrong on that. People don't know this, but the the margin for the oil companies, all you hear is their gross earnings. You don't know what they've spent to get to those earnings, and the and the profit margin for the oil companies is very very thin. These subsidies allow us to find energy resources that we actually need, and it's just preventing them from having to send more to Washington DC. We're not we're not writing a check to them saying, "Hey, here's here's what the taxpayers paid so that you the big oil company can stay in business." We're doing that with Planned Parenthood. They wouldn't survive without a half billion dollars from the American people and 42 million dollars more. So why are they able to turn around and spend 18 million in the election cycle? I'm not sure. I'm Kevin McCullough. It's AFA today on AFR Talk. Stay with us. <laughs> 